Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, been a kind of an uneventful week this week, except for January 14th, which was Darren's birthday, and Kaloi's birthday as well. So, Zeon's dad's birthday and my brother's birthday, so shout out to both of you. Happy birthday, Darren! Yeah. So, I wanted to do something this week, um, and that was to get around to all the beaches. I've been trying to do this for quite a while, and getting around to all the beaches other than Alona Beach is kind of important because it shows you some other places that are around here. So I took Jarek down to the beach and we had, a, you know, we had a reasonable time until the drone attacked him, but you'll see that. Another thing, I've had a couple of people contact me about my, um, about my collarbone surgery because uh, a couple of months back I put up a video showing me uh, going back to the gym. Now, I just wanted to say that that, that video was not for people to follow and you know and 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 do themselves because i'm not a personal trainer i can't get people to do that one of the things i do have to say is that in a session after that uh, maybe two weeks or three weeks after that i actually tried to do a couple of things that i would normally do not the weight just the exercise and i've actually bent the bar in my collarbone so my collarbone is usually like this and now it's like this yay and it was quite painful for a little while uh, just come good because i've literally had four weeks of almost no exercise except for swimming on the beach and bike riding other than that um, it's been pretty good now one of the things to those guys that are out there that were watching one of the things i'd like to say to those guys that are watching is that really take it easy really low weights and none of the pushing and pulling exercises none of this sort of thing and none of the chest exercises because a friend of mine, Pete, has told me about the, the movement of the shoulder and the collarbone. And basically, you know, those exercises are out at the moment. So again, lots of swimming, lots of riding on bikes, and it's all good. Hope you've had a good week. Jarek and I are on a bit of an adventure, aren't we, mate? Very pretty. And Jarek is gonna drive. been teaching Jarek to drive since for about three years actually. The two of us have come down to Lenau Beach. Jarek! Hello! Hello. <laughs> He's a very special child. Um, Lenau Beach is really nice but it's a bit of a boat graveyard. It's kind of where they bring all the tour boats and they either build them here or they fix them down here and at the moment the place is absolutely full of them. It's a good spot though. Look at all these coconut trees. It's natural. It is! It is, we're just across the water from Christina Will's place, um, which is that way. So, which doesn't help you much, but anyway, so. So look at this place, the secret boat burial ground. This is the one I like. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big dive boat. Yeah, the big dive boat, big trimaran sort of thing. Look at this thing though. This is beautiful. Should rent one then. Rent them. We rent them all. They're all all for rent at the moment. So with the bringing in a COVID and tourism stopping, no one's coming down here. They've got to put their boat somewhere. Look at this, it's also the place. Whoa, look at that. It's, all a, all, it's also the place where they bring in all the old boats and they repair them. And it looks like they get salvaged on as well because I don't know what they're, what they're going to do with that here. But up along here, it's just boats. Boats, 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 as far as you can see. 
Which one, bro? It's big, isn't it? Mega. Mega boat. Well, I came up here with Uncle Will one time, and there wasn't so many boats, and this is just crazy. What, today? Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday, Dad. On your birthday. Sure, we'll rent a boat. This one was, I was here with Will a while back and this one was just being built so they haven't really gotten anywhere with it. And you, were, you and Will were here, this one was just built? This one here behind us. <laughs> and we'll hide from Jarek. <laughs> what are you doing? Me? No. Why would I hide from my son? That's terrible. Well, look at this. How are we going to get through here, bro? Pretty warm, hey. We won't get too far then. Sorry. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's hot. Touch it. It's so hot. And it's hot. <laughs> Been in the sun. Maybe we walk past, walk back in the shade, huh? I don't know who, who owns all of this land, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. And this is a point that comes right out into the ocean along here. Oh, you, I know what you're going to do with this. wasn't it? The drone attacked my son. Got him on the back. Terrible, we're gonna head home. Poor little man. I don't know what happened, it just, when we went it to set off, it's supposed to rise up to 1.2 meters and it just dropped and landed on his back. Left a little bruise. Where are we going? Come on. I did go. That's all right. What do you want to do? Play the job. So this is one of the ways to get down to Lanao Beach or Danao Beach. Check this out. Come on, bro. <laughs> Hello. Hey, boss. Morning. morning, morning, morning. Come forward. Hello. Yeah, you wouldn't think it was wide enough for a bike. <laughs> Still wearing the helmet after the drone attack. Hey, boys. Hello. Hello, baby. And out on the beach again. Nice, hey? So just giving you an idea, I keep telling you how clean the water is down here at the moment at Alona Beach after our little schmozzle with the drone. 
check this out. And this is how clear it is. This is yeah, towards the end of winter, so well middle of winter really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that scared you, didn't it? Yep. 